Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next training topic in which we will talk about the Java migration tool. Basically the tools which will help to migrate the Java specific data. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, here you can see in this particular slide you can see the tool JLoad. So this particular tool is used mainly for exporting the data out of the Java database. So as of NetWeaver 2004, Java data is now stored in the database, but there are still Java applications storing persistent data in the file system. JLoad deals mainly with the database data only. File system data is covered by SAP INST functionality still. JLoad is not designed to be a standalone tool. For migrating a Java based SAP system, SAP INST will need to perform additional steps which are version and install software component specific. Okay, so unlike R3 load dump file, JLoad dump files contain the dictionary definitions and the exported data in the same file. JLoad writes its data in a format that is independent of database and platform. This format can be read and processed on all platforms supported by SAP. Okay, and finally, if JLoad terminates with an error, a restart function allows the data export import to be continued after the last successfully recorded action. Okay, so these are some of the key features for JLoad. Take note that JLoad is one of the main and component for doing an ex export of the data from the database of a Java based system. Okay, let's get into the next tool for migration, which is J size check. Okay, as the tool name indicates, it is used for checking the size of the database. So basically what it does is that it does the size calculation, which is not limited just to a certain objects like R3, SJCHK, file containing initial extents like the star.ext file for R3 load are not required for J load. So in case of a database change during a heterogeneous system copy, the conversion weights for data and indexes are calculating using the master data index size. The export sizes are converted to import sizes and using the conversion coefficient, about 20 to 30 percent additional space is added for safety reason. If the computed size is less than the default values, say for example 1 GB for Oracle, then default sizes are used in the output file. So that is pretty much that I wanted to cover, but just to add to what we have said so far, this file at we have reiterated dbsize.xml. This is used for creating the database target database size, and also it is used for building the target database. So this is extremely useful file, which helps to facilitate the parallel export import, which helps to facilitate uh, by preparing the or by making the target database ready. So this is extremely useful. Okay, and JLoad that we have seen last is mainly the main tool which is used for loading and unloading the data. Okay, so this is used both in the export phase as well as in the import phase. So this is the tool which is used for exporting and importing the data out of the database. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular training session. Thank you for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.